Hello everyone, welcome to Optics Rate YouTube channel. I'm again here with another review from Nikon. These are Monarch 7 binoculars in configuration 10 by 42. So I will do a short overview as always and at the end tell you about the things that I like about them and the things that could be improved. And before I begin, I always like to say thank you to our subscribers and watchers. Uh, sorry viewers um, because without you none of this would be possible so thank you so Nikon is one of the oldest and most respected companies uh, in the field of cameras and they're also present in the field of optics uh, and imaging products so the company originates from Tokyo Japan they also have uh, pr producing facilities in China and they're producing binoculars, rifle scopes, spotting scopes, monoculars and for inch finder. So all of the sport optics segment. And Monarch 7 series uh, is one step uh, higher in quality from ProStaff series. Uh, we have in the Monarch 7 series four different models, two full size ones, 8 and 10 by 42. Uh, and then we have two compact models, 8 by 30 and 10 by 30. So these binoculars are made in China, as it's also written here under the bridge. And uh, they weigh 696 uh, grams and are about 13 centimeters wide and around 14 centimeters long. They're the same. Uh, size as 8x42 model. As you can see we have a classic design in all black with some gold features. Everywhere there, there's Nikon written uh, on these binoculars. Um, they are of polycarbonate housing and um, rubber on the outside. It's really rubberized. Uh, and I think that it would greatly protect the binoculars against any impacts. Uh, we also have a single bridge design. They're waterproof and fogproof, filled with dry nitrogen to prevent any internal fogging. Uh, they're also tripod adaptable. So under this screw, you can put a tripod adapter and then onto a tripod to secure a more uh, steady image because these are of 10 power magnification image can get a bit shaky after uh, longer use so it's a nice feature to have uh, now let's move on to optical characteristics so schmidt packen roof prisms we also have extra low dispersion ed glass which helps with chromatic aberration and making it making it uh, really no unnoticeable, um, especially uh, it's noticeable when you're looking at, at really light objects or branches. Um, and then we have one, uh, 117 meters of field of view at 1000 meters, which is really wide for 10 by 42 configuration. And when you're putting your binoculars uh, to your eyes, the image sort of comes right at you. Uh, I say that it's a really flat view and you get a feeling like you're basically in the picture. So I really like that um, feeling. It may not be suitable for some users. So uh, I would suggest you look through these binoculars first and then uh, make a decision. Incredibly sharp image in the center and on the edges. And I'd say that Nikon has a really vivid colors. I really like uh, Nikon's colors. Uh, we also have 2.5 meters of close focus distance. So these binoculars are also suitable if you would like to observe smaller objects like butterflies, insects. And as I already said about the chromatic aberration, there's really minimal uh, aberration. Now where to use this kind of binoculars because of the basic con configuration. Uh, these are suitable for any type of observation. 
10 power magnification will give you more detailed image and more narrow field view. So maybe these are not that suitable for um, scanning the area. It's more suitable for detailed observations if you're a bird watcher to get that recognition of the bird or if you're a hunter to get that nice definition of, um, of an animal. Um, otherwise, these are suitable for hiking, traveling, nature observation, observation, wildlife spotting, basically any type of observation. Now the focusing, uh, we have central focusing mechanism and is adjusted with this central focusing knob. The knob is quite big. It has nice turning. We have some ridges here to help with the grip. We almost have 1.5 turns. And you can also just adjust the diopter with this ring here under the right eyepiece. The turning is really hard, which is a good thing. So there is no fear of accidental turning because you only set this once. Also, the turning is smooth of the central focusing knob, so the adjustments are really fine. Eye cups are made out of rubber and they are of twist up type, which means they can be twisted up to adjust the eye relief. If you're a glasses wearer, you just put the eye cups down and then um, put your binoculars to your glasses. And otherwise, if you're if you don't wear glasses, this can be uh, adjusted to uh, preferred eye relief. The turning is quite easy. I fear that this would collapse when pressed again, so they don't hold the position that well. And now let's move on to what's included in the box when you purchase these binoculars. So firstly, um, there are objective lens covers made out of rubber that are attached to the barrels. So there is no fear of losing them. I really like the quality of these and also how they collapse or how they are turned into the barrels. So they really protect your objective lenses. And then we have eyepiece covers, which are in difference made out of plastic, not rubber. And I would say that they are of really bad quality. They could be made out of rubber. They also fall right off your binoculars. So I wouldn't say they protect your eyepieces that much. Um, we have then strap, so padded strap to put your binoculars around your neck. They come in this soft case. It's a basic uh, case with a belt loop. And of course the instruction manuals in different languages. And we have 10 years of warranty uh, with these binoculars. So these are priced at 579 euros. Um, and some things that are really great that I really like about these binoculars are that we have wide field of view for 10 power magnification, uh, excellent sharpness of the image. Uh, they are really light, small uh, for this configuration. And overall, I really like the build quality of these and overall the design, so black color, which is uh, suitable for any type of observation uh, with gold features. So it's obvious that this is a, knock, a Nikon. Um, and of course the 10 years warranty is always a good thing uh, with any kind of binoculars. And some downsides, I really struggled to find any. Um, I'd say that the overall quality of accessories so if I'm buying binoculars at 500 euros mark, 
I would expect to have more uh, higher quality accessories, especially these eyepiece covers, which are really not, not great uh, if you're looking at the quality of uh, just binoculars. And also the bag um, is quite bad also. Um, but overall, I really like the optical characteristics, the build quality of these binoculars. So I would say that uh, they are well worth the uh, 579 euros. So thank you all for watching. Uh, like, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like all of these reviews. And see you next time. Bye.